Hi, welcome to Zopax. I'm Donna, and I want to show you how you can use our Zopax machines to wrap your candle boxes. I've got a few different shapes and sizes of box that might be similar to the one that you're currently using, but it's going to show the versatility of this machine, and I want to walk you through just how to do that. So I'm going to start with this long box, and right now I've got a 12-inch roll of media loaded onto my Zopax PXC12. Um, this box has an interruption in the box surface at the top, so we'll just make sure that we have the film rolling straight over that. We're going to put that initial seal on this back side, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you're going to do is you're going to lift your film up. We're going to arrange the box like so. See how when I roll that over, it doesn't quite go all the way to the edge? That's what we want. We want it past the halfway mark. I'm going to pretty much center that on the film and then I'm going to put my fingers outside of the film and see how I'm tucking my finger over so that it's not flush with, if I had my fingers up here I would burn myself but I'm going to pull those down. We're just going to tap, we've got that initial seal and then on the sides we're going to fold those in and just fold back these little flaps. We're going to press and then we'll just fold those right over. You can see that seals that right up and we'll do the same thing on the side. We're going to press the sides in. We're going to fold those tabs back to keep that nice and neat. We're going to press and kind of go to the angle. That's going to define this triangular area. And then I'm just going to fold those over and making sure my fingers are out of the way, we're going to press that. It kept it nice and smooth over this opening, nice and tight. Let's move on. Next we're going to do this size candle box. This size has a cutout opening, which we're not concerned about. For the same reason, we can just bring that film straight across it to seal that up. Very different shape and size, obviously, than this first one that we did. So we don't require the full 12 inches of width. I've engaged the cutter. You can see I came in, oh, a couple inches, um, just to remove that excess for wrapping this particular piece. So now we're going to wrap. Now I want to put my folded edges on these short ends. It'll look neater than if I try and do it on these long sides. So I'm going to pull a little bit of this excess up, this film forward, and then I'm going to set that on there. We want this to come down past the halfway mark, and roughly we want our box centered as best we can. And then we're just going to wrap the film around the box, and we're going to slide forward. We're going to seal that. That removes it from the roll. And now we've got our ends that we're going to fold over. And as we're folding over, you can see we get these triangular pieces. We want that, but we want to make sure we're being neat with that. So we want to pull those over to the side. We're going to tap those edges to define those triangles to make sure those don't slide back. And then we're just going to press. Press right onto the heat there. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. We're going to take two of the sides, we're going to push those in, and then we're going to neatly form these triangular shapes. Okay, we're going to press the profile to really define that so this doesn't come undone. And then we're going to fold that over, and we'll do the same thing on the other side and it comes to these points. Real nice and tight wrapping job. And see how nice that glides over that window? It's not an issue at all. Let's move on. Okay, now here we have a little bit smaller version. This time the cutout kind of goes over the edge there. Same situation, we're gonna let the film just slide right over that. These edges are gonna support it. This is a smaller box still, so we've moved the cutter in even farther. Now, if this is your only product size, there's no need to order a 12-inch roll with the cutter, but if you have multiple sizes, it's nice to have that versatility. You can, though, order just a small custom size of whatever proportion is right for your product. So we're going to put this face down like we did before because we want the film to glide over that cutout. 
and it's the same logic with every box. We want this to go up to the a little past the halfway mark. We're going to roll that. We're going to bring it across the wire and that removes it from the roll there. And then we're going to work on these edges. So same logic, we're going to be pressing. We're going to come in from the sides and then we're just going to work those triangles off to the edge. We want that neat and flat. The neater it is in this stage, the neater the end product will be. We're going to tap and tap. And we'll press that over. We're going to do the same thing on this side. Remember we press both sides in and then we neatly work those triangles to form. And then we're going to tap and tap. And we're going to slide that right over and slide that right over. And you can see it melts that right down and it keeps it nice and tight across even that opening. Not a problem at all. As you can see, this is a very versatile machine and it's going to be a great solution for your candle box wrapping needs. Um, as always, you can rewatch the video as many times as you'd like. You can go to zopax.com. You can give us a call if you have any questions. And you can also go to YouTube and search Zopax to see any number of videos. Thanks so much.